now we are learning current we hear this word even from our childhood whether you are studying electronics engineering or not whether you are studying any class whether it is 7th 8th or 9th or 10th but when it comes the month ending next month starting a bill comes to your home saying this is a current bill even an illiterate from that bill seeing he can say this is a current bill why this bill came because i am operating devices which are using current that's why this bill came i have to pay now for a layman current means it is used to turn on my tv it is used to turn on my fan it is used to turn on any device any electrical device if we ask you then you give the definition if i ask you what is current you say the flow of electrons is called as current that is from your previous classes okay we appreciate that definition flow of electrons is called as current now we know what is electron but our from our previous discussion if i ask you can you know can you differentiate there are two electrons obviously you say sir there are two electrons one is bounded electron and the second one is free electron now my question is in this chalk piece already in the previous discussion we said in one cubic centimeter crystal there are 10 to the power 24 atoms means in this small chalk piece there are 10 to the power 24 atoms imagine if i want to write the 10 to the power 24 on board that is so much big number even it takes so some amount of time at least to count what actually it is but in this chalk piece crystal 1 cm cube crystal we have 10 to the power 24 atoms if atoms are 10 to the power 24 then how many electrons are there in this crystal definitely more than 10 to the power 24 am i right so the electrons in this 1 cm cube crystal are definitely greater than 10 to the power 24 these many electrons are there crores of electrons i am holding in my hand what is the definition of current sir flow of electrons is called current then these 10 to the power 20 more than 10 to the power 24 electrons are there are they sitting somewhere no they are revolving continuously why i am not getting any shock why these electrons are not giving current because these electrons all these electrons are not free electrons because all these electrons are not free electrons these electrons are revolving there is no doubt but these electrons are revolving not for us they are revolving for the nucleus if an electron comes out of the atom this electron is called as free electron now this free electron is free from any nuclear force this free electron is free from any nuclear force and this free electron arbitrarily randomly it moves from one place to another place and it loses energy at some point of time this electron again goes into the atom again it becomes bounded electron now i am saying we are changing the definition i am saying flow of free electrons is called as current okay sir in this chalk piece are there any free electrons obviously okay what are the actually if we see there are we divided substances mainly into three categories according to the electrical properties remember we are not dividing according to any physical properties or chemical properties we are dividing substances according to electrical properties into how many types three types one type we are calling them as conductors and semiconductors insulators 
what is a conductor in this material at room temperature there are more number of free electrons in this material compared to the conductor there are less number of free electrons but compared to insulator there are more number of free electrons in insulator at room temperature there are only almost very few number of free electrons almost negligible if i ask you the question is there any difference between 1 cm cube iron crystal and wood crystal and a silicon crystal by seeing the electrons there might not be any difference but if i ask you is there any difference with respect to the free electrons then as yes. iron crystal is having more number of free electrons compared to the silicon and wood it is fine so this is called as a conductor why it is conductor because it has the ability to conduct why it is semiconductor it has the ability to conduct but that is only some amount of portion compared to the conductor semi insulator it does not want to conduct it is saying no through me i don't want to allow the free electrons okay you are insulating insulator it is allowing conductor in bus some conductor allows the passenger and takes the uh, ticket here this conductor is allowing free of flow very freely more number of free electrons we are not discussing at any point of time about electron we even do not discuss about bounded electron we are discussing about free electron at a room temperature the free electrons in conductor are more compared to the semiconductor and in semiconductor the number of free electrons are more compared to insulator now okay now you are sitting on the iron benches again i question you okay at room temperature in conductor many free electrons are there still why you are not getting any shock example this is a iron chalk piece i have taken a big iron chalk piece in this free electrons are there as yes, obviously there but compare it to bounded electrons the number of free electrons are very less there is no doubt in that but at least these free electrons should give the current no no sir this chalk piece is very small okay take your bench is it conductor yes but why you are not getting any shock even though these electrons are free electrons they are revolving randomly one electron says yes i am free electron i will move in this direction another electron say i will move in this direction another electron says i will move in this direction so there is no current if we make remember free electrons are there conductor has the ability to conduct but we have to channelize we all have the potential each and every human being is capable but we have to bring out that potential when you bring out that potential in one field if the scientist brings out the amount of potential infinite amount of potential then we call him a great scientist if a sports person bring out potential then we say he is a great sports person so now we have to channelize these electrons electrons in the iron crystal electrons are revolving but we are only asking whether these are free electrons yes there are some number of free electrons now these free electrons we are trying to make this free electrons to move in a single direction why we are trying to move the electrons in the single direction if the electrons in this crystal move in the single direction then only we can observe the current so here the electrons are randomly moving now we are we are trying to move the electrons in the single direction 
then the problem remains the same. We have taken the iron crystal. In this, free electrons are there. But these free electrons are not giving any current. Now we want to move the free electrons in single direction. Is it possible? Yes. What is the... When we want to move a charge from one place to another place, which will be useful to us? Which parameter? Potential? Potential difference. So if we want to move all electrons in the single direction, then we are calling potential difference, please come. That is voltage. Then we are taking a battery. Now we are taking a battery. This is the battery, a source of potential difference. I came, I arrived, okay. This is example, some 5 volts. We have taken a small crystal. Now, because of this battery, this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal, electrons move in the same direction. Remember, these electrons are bounded electrons or free electrons? Free electrons. These electrons are moving in the same direction. These electrons are moving towards the anode. Now, because the electro free electrons are moving in the single direction, now you can observe the current. Once, if you disconnect the battery, then you will not observe any current. Why? Are there any lack of free electrons? No, free electrons are there. But uh, the battery or the potential difference which is making the free electrons to move in the single direction, it is missing. No, no, sir, I, actually these electrons, atoms, so whatever we are studying, these electrons is not at all useful. Battery is useful to me. If I have the battery, then my subject is battery ionics. There is no need of electronics. So I need only battery. Okay, very good. Now, instead of iron, now you connect wood. Now you give the same battery. Now there is no current. Why there is no current? Battery is there. But free electrons are not there. So current is due to the free electrons only. Only thing is free electrons by their nature they are not moving in the single direction. Our work is to make them free electrons you move in single direction. Then we are asking which device can make the free electrons to move in single direction. Sir I have a device that is a battery. If you use that battery in the clock that clock works. At one point of time when clock stops, we replace with the battery. Then if, if I ask the question, why the clock is working? Then we will say, because of the battery. That is fine. But if free electrons are not working for you to rotate that clock, even with the battery, you are not able to get the operation of any electrical or electronic device. Okay? So now we understood current is provided only with the free electrons. That is the first basic thing. Bounded electrons never give the current to us. Only free electrons will give the current to us. There are many free electrons, but these free electrons move in different direction. Then also there is no current. When all the free electrons are moving in the single direction, then we observe some amount of energy. We are calling that as a current. So now, the current is nothing but flow of free electrons in single direction. Sir, is it applicable to only electrons? If any charged particle moves in the single direction, then you can observe the current. But because we have the electrons, it is very difficult to move the proton from the nucleus. Now, when we connect the battery to this material, all the electrons will move in the single direction. We are calling that energy as a current. Sir, can we measure it? Yes. How can we measure it, sir? We can measure it by an instrument called ammeter. By using the ammeter, we can measure the amount of the current in this circuit. Okay? To our homes, 
whenever we are getting the supply we will never get the current in general layman language we say current is coming current is coming we are only getting the voltage that is ac voltage that we will discuss later in the 8th chapter to our homes we are never getting the current we are getting the voltage continuously at your plug supply we have 230 volts rms voltage but when we connect a device to it if i connect the fan it draws the more amount of the current when i connect the uh, light it draws less amount of current but the voltage that is given to the fan and light are same so you will not get bill based on the voltage you will get the bill based on current if you get the bill based on the voltage for every minute they are giving the voltage to you am i right but you may not utilize that when you turn on the fan then only that fan is consuming some energy we are calling it is running because of the current okay there is a difference in the utilization so there is a difference in the current that is drawn by the fan and light and other devices but there is no difference the voltage that is supplied to this light or fan or tv or motor same amount of voltage so they will never give you voltage bill otherwise they are they have to run into losses they will give current bill based on the current you are consuming okay now what is current it is flow of free electrons in the single direction okay right